Shikath and Ganai kind of loosely translated means it couldn't be helped. It can't be helped. And I think in regards to my my mother and her dementia is that was that you can apply for uh, that term or that expression. Uh, it, it just one of those types of diseases that happen that you have no control over. So you just try to make the best of it. When my both my parents were living alone, uh, my sister was living with them and providing the care they needed. You know, one of the things that we noticed, we all noticed, was the fact that um, they would forget. You know, they would forget things, uh, even to the point where they would turn on the the gas on their stove, and they wouldn't necessarily realize it was not being lit by the pilot. Luckily, my sister was there 24/7, giving her the care, but. In 2008 or 2008, um, my sister had uh, passed away, and so my brother and I were the ones providing uh, care from both my parents. My brother would do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I would do the other days. Uh, but at that point, you know, there was uh, concerns about how long we could sustain that, and then uh, just by a, a very f freak accident in 2012. My, both my parents uh, were sleeping and uh, the neighbors smelled smoke because they had their windows open. And apparently there was some kind of electrical problem where it created a fire. And you know, the uh, first responders came and they knocked down the door and they, you know, they went to, uh, to the bedrooms and they found both my parents asleep. And because of their age, you know, they're very hard of hearing. They didn't realize that the smoke alarm had gone off so after that, we placed them in temporary housing. And at that point, I think my brother and I decided that, you know, that we need to find some place where we can keep them that was safe. And so we, we checked them into a nursing care facility. After my dad had passed away, uh, we moved my, my mother to another care facility. And that was uh, Cairo, which eventually became KI. Mostly they served the, the Japanese American communities. It was quite easy for them to get the care that they needed medically. And so my brother and I really didn't have that responsibility. And I, I'm very grateful for the fact that there was such a great staff that was able to aid that kind of comfort to my mother. The strong point about that particular type of nursing care there was they understood about the needs of Japanese Americans. Uh, they actually had a menu uh, both for Japanese and American food. So for my mother, I thought that was really a good place for her to be because she can, you know, be with the foods that she was familiar with, it was provided for her at that particular care center. I think, you know, for people who have friends or relatives that suspect that maybe their parent have potential of having some form of dementia, that uh, if they can reach out and, and, and get the information somehow, you know, either through a friend or through a physician or, to allow them to know that there is help out there, there are support groups out there, there's organizations that can educate them and help them overcome some of the questions that they might have. I'm really grateful that, uh, that I can understand you know, what dementia is, what Alzheimer's is. There, there is uh, organizations like Alzheimer's of Los Angeles that provide uh, seminars and symposiums where people can get this information that will help them, you know, cope with what their situation is, whether a parent or loved one with Alzheimer's. I think we we get in touch with what had happened in the, you know in our past, and our parents are are solely responsible for the for our development. And I think it's a form of uh, giving back. You know, it's that responsibility of uh, that's nurtured in in, in love.